hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel my name is tando Gazi and this is tk's financial corner where we discuss everything finance for as long as it requires you to take money out of your bank account we definitely have to discuss it baby okay so let's get it let's get on it right away all right so today i'll be just talking about different types of loans um we have secured and unsecured loans so when we're talking about secured loans we're talking about loans that are backed up loans that uh, when you default on them the lender or the banker can repossess back the item these are such as home loan when you want to buy a house and when you're defaulting on payments they can repossess the house back or when you're buying a car and your car is financed by a financial institution then if you default on payments they can take back their car and resell their car so that they can get back the money that they have borrowed to you okay so those are two types of secured loans that i will specifically talk about today okay so home loans we're talking about um lower interest rates because they are over a long period of time 20 years 30 years it depends entirely on the person you know it's an individual case so on this kind of a loan you pay it over a very long period of time which is 20 to 30 years um, and then it has lower interest rates compared to other loans in South Africa because obviously it's a very, very, um, uh, you pay it over a very long time. Now we move on and we talk about car finance. So this is a loan that you take or you get from the bank when you want to finance a car that you're just going to purchase from a dealer. So we're talking about a period of five years to seven years, depending um, entirely to a to a person on uh, the period that they have chosen so in this case also once you default and miss out on let's say three payments the bank will definitely call you and they will try to talk with you and negotiate with you as to how can you pay the outstanding amount but if you fail or you are failing to do so then they will take their car and then they will sell their car whether at an auction in trying to get their money back and if the selling price at an auction remember this if the selling price at an auction uh, was still less than what you owe then you will still be uh, liable for the outstanding balance so the fact that the car was repossessed from you it doesn't mean that it's over no it's not over until what the money they've sold the car for uh, pays off the outstanding balance that you owe to the bank then it's over but in most cases it doesn't work like that you still have a certain balance that is outstanding and you will be held liable to pay it off Okay, now unsecured loans, these are your consolidation loans, these are your short-term loans or long-term loans or payday loans, okay? So payday loans, we all know, those are the loans that you take on your payday when you get paid on the 25th and you see that um, isn't what slanga and things are just not adding up. So you would opt for this um payday loan and it will be deducted from you again on the next payday you see and this thing it it's like it's revolving you know it's a cycle and if you do not get out of it it becomes a habit for you to do it and it's actually not right okay and then consolidation loans these are types of loans that um the the lender will offer to you uh, and then they would say, listen, we can see that you have different scholars or different majalas from different people, you know. So what we will do, we will pay all these debts for you and then you will only have one installment with us as this bank A, you know. And this one now comes with its terms and conditions. You know, it's good. It's high interest rates, obviously, guys. It has a higher interest rate. And then it will then prolong the payment period. Even if with an account that they just paid off, you were left with a year. With this one, it's a new contract. So you will start from zero with them. And if it's over 24 months, over 36 months, then 
the period will be so so you must really really be careful before you enter into this type of a loan and in most cases they advertise um a lower interest rates and because we don't read the terms and conditions in in most situations that lower interest rates say seven percent or eight percent they state they they state that it's over a year over 12 months period and after that the higher interest rates uh, kicks in so those are the things that we must look out for okay and then lastly the short-term loans and the long-term loans we all know those okay so short-term loans long-term loans they all have higher interest rates attached to them because remember these are unsecured loans you know so please guys before you make the decision that you want a loan make sure that you know what is what is it that you want the loan for okay and when you go to the banker do not get twisted if you go there you know that you want five thousand rands you know when you get there the banker will tell you oh but you qualify for fifty thousand rands and all of a sudden you think about all your problems that you have i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that please guys don't fall for that you must know your story if you want five thousand rands stick to that and get the five thousand rands and go to what you want to do with it and just pay it back um and that's it so thank you so much guys for watching please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell bye guys